Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the end of 2020, thank God. It's been a rough year for all of us and can't wait to get it over with and hopefully 2021 is gonna bring us better days. And thank you for all the support over this past year and all the years I've been on YouTube. And I hope you're all keeping well and keeping safe. Now, I had no intention of doing another room tour so soon. I've only just done one recently, but the last couple of live streams, quite a few of you have been asking for one last room tour for the year. So, seeing as I've um, done one quite recently, I'm only going to zero in on the figures that I've recently reposed. I've reposed about 80% of the figures on the shelves here and behind me. So, I'm only going to zero in and focus on those. I don't want the video to be too long. I've actually shot this twice now. Both times, it's about 45 minutes long. Like I said, I've only just done one of these recently, so I'm going to try to aim for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to crack on and just give you an overview of everything. And then I'll, like I say, I'll zero in on the stuff that I've actually reposed. But you've seen a lot of this already. If you're new to the channel and it's your first time seeing it, do bear in mind there is much more in-depth room tours here where I'll actually go in you know, to each figure and talk about it. And they've all got their own individual reviews and mod videos and unboxings and all that stuff. So dig deep in the channel and you'll find what you're looking for all right let's get started with who have i well i haven't reposed joaquin phoenix because i don't like to touch that one it's perfect and the also the bathroom scene uh custom joaquin phoenix i don't really like to mess with that pose but pretty much everything else has had a fair amount of tweakage we'll start with harley quinn over here the sideshow harley quinn the body has been replaced with a tb league body and just gives you a much more realistic look to the body and unlimited posability. And that little box here, that was just something I stumbled upon in the house and thought to myself, that looks one six scale and put it with Harley Quinn and it looks great. Now here's the problem. I tend to linger on each figure. I, you know, I spend ages reposing them, getting them ready for the video. And then I tend to linger on each one for about a minute. And I don't know exactly how many figures are in here. Let's just roughly say maybe 40. Because uh, there's other ones that are down on the ground and stuff. So if there's 40 figures and I spend one minute on each one, we're looking at a 40 minute video. So that's why I keep ending up at that point. So I'm going to have to <laughs> just move on kind of quickly. Uh, a bit quicker than usual. Here is my 1-6 scale Dark Knight. And that's the Armory Batman. Uh, but with the Medicom Dark Knight head sculpt and the MMS box. So it's a bit of a mishmash there, and that's a great looking piece. Here's my Joker with a head sculpt from Mr. Stephen Maurice, otherwise known as Trespass Customs on Instagram. It's an absolutely amazing, amazing head sculpt. Uh, just incredible. There's some amazing Joker stuff coming out soon when it comes to statues, man. Just another one recently announced. Um, so many awesome options for collectors out there now. There's Harley Quinn good is the sideshow joker and he's completely stock great looking piece and I've gone for the killing joke kind of pose here it looks great and I'll just move across here just take a look then we go to Wonder Woman absolutely gorgeous figure Kept it kind of simple with her pose, just powerful. It's absolutely just a really, really striking piece on the shelf. Haven't seen the new movie yet. Thanks to those of you out there who are asking for a review on the film. I just haven't seen it. Uh, here in mixed reviews, but I'll see it for myself and I'll let you know when the time comes. Yeah, I love that piece. And here is yeah, absolutely one of my grails in the collection for sure. The Adam Hughes custom Catwoman figure with the head sculpt from 1-6 Visage on Instagram. Absolutely amazing. I'll just zoom in on that for a second. Yeah, you appreciate that. Absolutely love that piece. Nice little pose for her as well. Just come around a little bit. Go. check out the pose video on the channel for her and here is one of the best joker figures ever made it's the mark hamill joker by hot toys the markham asylum incredible body that they chose for this one or maybe made one specifically for him i'm not sure and an absolutely amazing head sculpt 
from an amazing game. And we have the League of Shadows, Bruce Wayne, or the Shadow Ninja by Pop Toys. Absolutely awesome piece, but that's the Bruce Wayne head that comes with the Hot Toys, uh, Batman Begins Toy Fair exclusive figure. Absolutely love that one. And then more Batman Begins, and the actual bat suit itself. It's quite a cool moody pose. Ben Choi head sculpt, Jackson Cape, Takara Gauntlets, Medicom Dark Knight boots, Hot Toys body, it's a proper Frankenstein Batman right there. And then, you know, I can't change the pose just yet, I don't think I'll ever mess with this one guys, I just love it. I got the weathering, the nastiness on the pants here. That's the repainted Toys era Arthur Fleck head. Absolutely love this piece. And then we have the demon and the scarecrow. And I think the way the cape is flowing on the demon looks really nice on the end of the shelf here. Book ends it nicely. And that Joker is a thing of beauty. You don't see too many of them around, folks. You have to kind of make it yourself if you want one. Obviously you have to gather the clothing and the original head sculpt and then repaint it yourself and add the strands of hair which I did on the forehead. Alright so that is that whole top shelf and then we'll move on to the bottom one. I'll just give you one last little pan around so I'm already about seven minutes and I've only covered one shelf. <laughs> this is the way it goes folks. I keep thinking I'm gonna make it a shorter video, I'm gonna make it a shorter video but there just really isn't a way to do that. I guess, unless I skip a bunch of stuff. All right, let's go to these two guys. These are the kind of highlight of the shelf right now as far as the reposing goes. Uh, this Arkham City Hot Toys Batman that's been repainted and a custom cape by Jackson is on there as well, but great posability on him. He gets down really low. I wanted him kind of, you know, really in motion. And he looks good from pretty much any angle, as does this awesome Dawn of Justice Ben Affleck Batman and that is the Unreal Toys drape cape, the original one they made otherwise known as uh, Unreal Customs, Unreal Toys sometimes the name changes I guess depending on where you're looking, Instagram, Facebook and such but that is an awesome looking you know, just display I couldn't figure out how to pose him basically, so I just decided to go for the Batman Begins kind of moody cape draped around him look. And then you have the Jack Nicholson Joker. Absolutely classic 1-6 scale figure. Selene Kyle from The Dark Knight Rises. And the Armored Batman from Dawn of Justice, and then we have Joaquin Phoenix Joker, we've seen that a bunch and I haven't reposed him so I won't linger on him too long, but he is exceptional, look at the head sculpt man, it's nuts, there's plenty more videos on the channel for him, uh, nothing's changed here with the Batman Returns Batman so moving on, did change the pose on the Nightmare, just got him holding up his gun, looking straightforward. Nothing too exciting, but it's different from before. Then on to the Hot Toys Christopher Reeve and the Hot Toys 89 Batman. Quite old figures now, but still look absolutely amazing as you can see. Just put them together because I'm tired of having Superman down here on his own because his box is too big to display with these guys, it just doesn't fit in, so he tends to not go on the shelf of everyone, but you really should, because you can't really go wrong with Christopher Reeve Superman, he's, he's an absolutely essential piece for the DC collection. And you've got the Darkest Knight over there, and the Medicom Hush, Batman and Catwoman, and then we've got the Arkham Knight Prime 1, incredible statue there, and the Sideshow Collectibles, 
me, uh, let me turn my light around a little bit here, get some light on her. Put your weight on it. There it is. Oh, she is amazing. That's one of my favorite pieces right there. It really reminds me of the Adam Hughes look. A little poison ivy down there by Play Arts Kai. There's the Michelle Pfeiffer tweet ahead, one six scale statue which comes with that awesome base that goes really well with the Hot Toys 89 Batman or Batman Returns one. There's your Frankenstein parts put together kind of Batman Begins ultimate poseable figure, quarter scale and the Interbay Batman otherwise known as the Beast resides upon his perch observing. There he is. And then over here Again, let me just turn this light around. There we go, that's the uh, Hot Toys quarter scale Dark Knight Rises Batman. And look at that thing, man, it's museum worthy. It's a custom cape on there as well, jet black velvet. That's what you need, folks, for this. It's amazing. Oh, hello. Mr. War Machine, Punisher War Machine, the beast. Great White Shark, Tony Stark. That rhymes. Great White Shark, Tony Stark. That was an excellent. Um, Batman Begins, first night out. Rocking the ski mask. And is that it? So yeah, I've done. Yeah, that's it. So that's the DC wall. So that's all the stuff there. And you've got the comics up top, which you've seen before. And if you haven't, there they are. I love me Adam Hughes Catwoman artwork. And yeah, these three in the center. That looks particularly good. Those three, the, uh, the DC ladies. Look at Catwoman, man. She's a show stealer right there. She just has such a realistic look to her. A head sculpt is insanely good. Audrey Hepburn influence when it came to the, the look, of course. You can really see it. Amazing job with that suit by Gwyneth as well on Facebook. All right, so we'll flip it around. Way! And start on this side of the room now. I'm going to use the torch on my camera for quite a bit of these guys because the light at night doesn't really get into this corner as well as I'd like. It's a bit dim so hopefully the torch on the camera will help illuminate things a bit better here. But there is the big jungle hunter by NECA, the original Predator. That's an awesome piece. You got the Hot Toys Elder stepping off the ship. First one out and uh, basically just roaring. Letting folks know he's arrived and about to send out the troops. He's an uh, awesome piece, check out those eyes. I love that one. And the City Hunter, still in the same pose, can't bring myself to touch that one just yet. Really like the way it looks. His eyes, man, they're even more green and vibrant than the, the Elders. He's a great piece. He's seen better days here, he's lost an arm. He's got his breathing mask on. And then the wolf, which is obviously an amazing looking piece. No words needed. He was more kind of looking up to the sky roaring before. Now I've got him kind of more looking at us roaring. That's, a, that's an amazing figure. And then beside him, the original Jungle Hunter. And I tweaked that pose a little bit, just raised up the arms a bit. And not much else. And there you got the alien stuff. That's the same as before, nothing's changed really. Ripley's still just as perfect as ever. There's Jonesy the cat. There's the big chap. Check out the paintwork on him. We added a fair bit of gloss and varnish to him. He's nowhere near that shiny looking. Fresh out of the box. He glued his mouth shut. 
And you got the Black Panther stuff. You got Killmonger. With that head sculpt. It's just amazing. And Black Panther. Just turn on his uh, his lights. There we go. I love that piece. All right, turn the torch off now because it's not so necessary down this end of the room. He's Robocop by Hot Toys. One of the very best, and again, it was quite amusing <laughs> that I completely forgot to put him in the top 20 on six scale figure countdown that I recently did. Even more funny because he actually won one of the top 10s some years ago, whatever, a couple of years back. But there he is. I like that pose, it's simple, but it looks really cool. Let's step back a little bit. Yeah, man, that looks pretty cool from any angle. Particularly kind of looking at it from underneath. It's an epic kind of feel to it. And we got the werewolf section. Nothing changed there, same as before, but always worth a, a moment of your time. There's all my favorite werewolves. The Howling. And American Werewolf in London. Dog Soldiers Howl, uh, Dog Soldiers Howl, Dog Soldiers Werewolf, and the Cool Models One Six Scale Werewolf, which reminds me a fair bit of the one from the film Bad Moon, which is really cool. Just check it out if you haven't seen it. And then Peter Venkman and Slimer, the same as before. And then the Endoskeleton, which is an incredible piece. Quite a lot of metal parts to this one. I don't know how Hot Toys did it. Completely poseable. Everything moves as it's supposed to. And the teeth. It's incredible. So that's the endoskeleton from the first movie, the original one. We got Art the Clown, the big one, a life size bust, or more of a torso bust situation. I mean, it's just missing the arms. And that was the Trick or Treat Studios Art the Clown mask. I cut the eyes out and put the fake ones from China, just little plastic eyes. Yeah, really effective though. Look at that, it looks so real. 2021 we'll be getting the new Terrifier movie, Terrifier 2 and Halloween Kills, so that's going to be pretty cool. And then the Art the Clown action continues with the candlelight corner one of a kind statue. And he's surrounded by little Pennywises. Mostly Necker, apart from the amazing Mesco version here. Uh, all of these Necker Pennywise figures are fantastic. I love that one in the background. That is so gross. <laughs> and this one, super creepy. And that one back there with the wolf hand, really scary. And that one just a kind of straight up normal Pennywise look. But Necker perfected it with the It Chapter 2 figures. They were already great with the originals, but they really did perfect it with that second version. And we've got various Terrifier stuff around. Yeah, very much looking forward to the Trick or Treat Studios 1-6 scale Art the Clown figure. i got to try and get two of them. One clean and one to bloody up. And I'm going to turn the torch back on for Vampirella, I think. So I can get the light in her eyes. Or well, maybe this will look okay like this. Let me just try the torch. Yeah, that seems a bit better. She's holding a skull. A massive thanks again to Irene and Mark for this awesome 112 scale Vampirella. Made by the same company that made these. 
although that is the Queen of the Vampires head sculpt, that's not a Vampirella head, but certainly works as one. There you go. Deadpool. Deadpool 1 by Hot Toys. Fair bit of weathering done to him to kind of mute down the red, make it look a bit more movie accurate. And now we come to the Icons of Horror section. And I've changed the pose slightly for every one of them, just subtle little things. I mean, Jason's obviously had a bit of a tweak. And Leatherface just raised his arms up a bit more. And his head. Myers just got him lifting up the knife there. Freddy. Have that kind of reaching for you action. And there's Chucky as well, don't forget Chucky. That's the NECA retro cloth figure that I bloodied up and buried in mud. Because I wanted him to look like he'd been buried, like in the movie. Looks awesome, man. Yeah, Freddy. Yeah, bear in mind, folks, if you're new to the channel, that is not what he will look like. I know he's standing in front of the Sideshow Collectibles figure box, but that is, um, you know, it's all different parts, different sweater, different pants, uh, different hat, all that kind of stuff. There's the Trick or Treat Studios box but the figure in front of it only really is using the head sculpt from Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, the rest, you know, you've got the Yonso coveralls, Final Run, Shadow Fogo Knife. Check out Shadow Fogo on Instagram. And the Beta Metalli Pumpkin. Really looking forward to the 2018 version from Trick or Treat Studios. I think that head sculpt's gonna finally seal the deal. Leatherface. I love that piece. <laughs> that is nasty. And then Jason. And that is the Icons of Horror. I just changed the pose with this version of Quiet here because it wasn't really doing it for me but you've got three versions here of a very cool character from a game which I absolutely love playing and there's the Play Arts Kai version of Quiet that used to be going for pretty big bucks on eBay I don't know if that's still the case since the Lim Toys 1-6 scale option came out but there she is she's even got teeth inside you can just about make out. Uh, do bear in mind the light from the phone is shining right in her face as we've gone back into the kind of dimly lit corner of the room. But yeah, two different types of bodies. I'm afraid I don't know the model numbers for them, folks. I know that this body is definitely the one that Lim Toys recommended you get from Firesin to use for this. So that's the recommended body that a lot of people have. Uh, but then this is just another body that I had lying around. It's a bit fuller. Whatever you want to say, slightly thicker than this one. And you got Snake. It's an awesome looking piece. Reposed his legs a bit, but that's that's pretty much all it did to him. And then the Pop Toys Tomb Raider. Still need to upgrade her body, but it's a tricky skin tone to match with the head. But I love that piece. And you got some crow action from NECA, the big one. And the little one. And that's it. As far as the shelves go, they're pretty much done. And the comics up at the top as well. And the posters. And the one down here. Love that movie. And the Batman Begins poster. One of my favorite film posters of all time, that one. You got some more stuff down there, like more Catwoman statues. 
and some more down there and some beavers and butthead stuff. And Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. And an original Darth Vader from the 80s in super good condition. I wish I you know, hadn't lost his red lightsaber, but that's the only thin up with him. There's Travis Bickle, Michelle Pfeiffer, T-Rex, T-shirts. Let's go Freddy. Need to find a better place to put him, that's for sure. And some other amazing pieces. Check out the life-size Batman Begins cow. And Vampirella. And more bits and pieces. Up in here. Very, very cool. More pieces, more stuff, ah. posters, poster action, baseball bat just in case, and that's the room folks, and that's the end of 2020, so thank you for all the amazing support on the channel as always guys, and massive big love to all of you, thank you for your support and your friendship, and see you on the next live stream. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll be back with you 2021. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff to look forward to in 2021, so I hope things get better with other situations as well, obviously, but you know, we've got some stuff to look forward to. Keep it together, folks. And I'll see you real soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.